What's going on guys, Faded Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a high taper on my boy, so stay tuned. We're starting off by debulking the top with the foreguard all the way closed and making sure everything's nice and even. Now that we're done debulking the top, we can move on to the back taper or use our gold effects to create our first guideline. You want to make sure you contour this guideline to the back of the neck so that the taper can fade better. Now that we're done botting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Once we're done setting in that guideline, we're going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see, now I'm using the half guard to erase the line completely. Remember to use its corners and its lever. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow my Instagram. Thank you. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're going to use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Remember to use its corners and its lever. Moving on to our three guard all the way open, this is going to help us debulk the sides and also blend into the four guard on top. Now that we're done detailing the back taper, we can move on to the side taper and create our first guideline. We're going to use our gold effects to ball them out. Moving on to the ear line, we're going to make sure we start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch using the corners of the blade.
Now that we're done detailing and bodying them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Remember, once you're done setting in that guideline, you could then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see, now we're moving on to the half guard and we're using its corners to remove the line completely. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, we're going to create our fourth guideline and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to our one and a half guard and connect the taper. Here I'm making sure I add detail using our three guard all the way open. Using a number 5 all the way closed, we're going to knock the beard down. Now we're going to use our Gorda effects to line up the back of the beard. You want to make sure you don't press too hard because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. Also, you want to go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Because if not, then the hair is going to shift and you won't light them up properly. Now we're going to use our no guard all the way open to begin fading in the sideburns. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that that initial guideline is erased, we're moving on to our one guard all the way open and we're going to create our second guideline. Now that we're done detailing the beard, we can move on to the front line and start off in the middle working our way to the sides. Again, just a reminder, you want to make sure you go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Because if not, then the hair is going to shift and you won't light them up properly. You always want to be careful not to push the client's vertical bars too deep in and you want to keep them as long as possible without keeping them too short.
as you guys can see it might have looked like i went too deep in the corner but i didn't it's just a lot of overhang in his hairline as you guys can see the hair is hanging over his hairline so i have to shift it at an angle to be able to cut it Now I'm going to detail the taper as much as possible. I felt like I felt I saw a guideline between the zero guard and the one guard, so I'm making sure I'm hitting it up. I'm also using my one and a half guard to remove some dark spots that I see between the one guard and the two guard. Moving on to the neckline, his hair does shift in a lot of angles, so I'm making sure I go against the grain, as you guys can see here. Now that we're done with the front line and his beard, we can move on to our Turkish razor and Derber Premium Blade to make him as crispy as possible. Also, make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow my Instagram. Thank you. What's going on guys, Faded Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a mid fade on my boy, so stay tuned. As you can see, it's a pretty big transformation. He usually gets a pushback, but right now we're gonna knock everything down to a four guard all the way closed and make sure everything's nice and even.
Now that we're done deep poking the top, we can move on to our gold effects and create our first guideline. We're gonna make sure we contour this guideline so the head shape so that the fade can flow better. You also wanna make sure you don't press too hard with the blade cause you don't wanna make the line too harsh. Don't be afraid to shut the skin with your opposite hands to give you more space to either ball out or blend. Now that we're done bodying them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in that guideline, we're gonna slowly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. As you guys can see, we're using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, you can go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow my Instagram. Remember, we're using our one guard and our lever to soften up that line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we're moving on to our half guard and we're going to use its lever and its corners to remove the line completely. Now that we're done with the lower guards, we're moving on to our two guard all the way open and we're creating our fourth guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. As you guys can see, now I'm switching over to my one and a half guard and I'm trying to erase the line completely using its corners and its lever. Sometimes after using the one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so going back to your one guard all the way open and using his corners would definitely help. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open, and we're going to go ahead and create our fifth guideline and begin to debulk the parietal ridge. 
This is gonna help us create our silhouette and make sure everything's nice and neat. Now I'm moving on to my clipper over comb method and I'm using my horizontal strokes to debulk and make sure the parietal ridge is smooth. Now I'm starting to use vertical strokes to make sure I, the blend is nice and clean. As you can see, I'm picking up the hair with the comb and I'm cutting it with my cutting blade at an angle. It's always best to add detail with either your half guard or your one and a half guard. Those are the guards that blend between the guards. Now that we're done with the sides, we can move on to the back and we're gonna start off with our no guard all the way open, creating our second guideline. We are right underneath the soda bone, so you wanna make sure you spend more time here and detail as much as possible. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Now we're right on top of the soda bone, so you want to be very careful here in detail as much as possible, and make sure you erase all the dark spots. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, we can move on to the half guard and use its corners and its lever to erase the line completely. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This guideline is going to help us prepare for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line, we're going to move on to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely using its corners and its lever.
Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open and we're creating our fifth guideline which is right on top of our two guard all the way open. This is going to help us clean up the ridge and blend into the top. Now I'm using the same guard I debulked the top to debulk the top and make sure it's nice and even. Before we begin to line him up, I'm going to debulk the hairline with my clear purple comb method. Now that we're done removing the excess hair, we can start off with our goat FX right in the middle and work our way to the sides. I always make sure I go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, cause if not, then the hair's gonna shift and then you won't line them up properly. Before I'm done lighting him up, I'm going back to the fade and I'm detailing as much as possible. Moving on to the C cup, we're going to start off at the bottom, we'll work our way to the top arch, and we're also going to go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Now we're going to repeat the same steps on the other side and we're going to make sure we keep the corners as natural as possible. We don't want to take the vertical bars too deep in. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, you can go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow my Instagram. Now that we're done with our C cups, we can move on to the sideburns and I started off with my no guard all the way open, slightly closing the lever, attacking that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline.
Now I'm moving on to the back of the beard and I'm using my Gorda FX to make it as crispy as possible. Make sure to go slow that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. 